Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. Today we are going to be making sourdough Hawaiian bread. This recipe can be used to make a loaf or rolls, whichever you prefer. It's going to be the same recipe, no matter which one you decide to use. We're going to get started out first with a six ounce can of pineapple juice. And we are going to also be using 200 grams of starter and 10 grams of salt. I'm going to go ahead and mix that all in together to help my starter um, dissolve a little bit better into my pineapple juice. I did warm up my pineapple juice so that way it can dissolve a little bit better. We're also going to be adding one egg, 10 grams of vanilla, 57 grams of melted butter or a half of a stick, 75 grams of sugar, and then once you've got that all mixed up, we're going to add 450 grams of all-purpose flour. Now you can use bread flour if you prefer. The difference really with bread flour and all-purpose flour is that um, your bread flour is going to be stronger with more protein. It's a little bit more dense than your all-purpose flour. And the all-purpose flour is going to be a little bit more airy and fluffy. So once you've got all of that mixed up together, I just like to scrape down the sides of my bowl. I am going to go ahead and give it a cover and then set my timer for 20 minutes. And I'm going to stretch and fold every 20 minutes for the next hour or so. And I really just do my stretch and folds until my dough strength is built, until my dough passes the window pane test. Once my dough doubles, then I am ready to begin shaping. Now with this batch that I'm showing you here, this one is going to be one of the loaves. So you doing your regular um, stretch and fold until your dough is nice and strong. And then we're just going to laminate it into a rectangle, folding it over itself, and then rolling it up. And I'm going to stick that into my Pullman pan. Now when you're ready for baking, I like to put an egg wash on top and then cover with tin foil, just lightly cover, not actually like tightly, just domed over. So that way your bread doesn't get too brown. You're gonna bake that on 375 for a total of about 45 minutes. Allow your bread to cool completely before slicing it up and then enjoy it with your family. Thank you everybody for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.